What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for Stochastic.com back with the process for Thursday, July 7th. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow this guy right here on Twitter at Josh Engelman. You can see it underneath my head. And then go sign up at Prize Picks. They are the presenting sponsor of this show. If you use the promo code AWESEMO, A-W-E-S-E-M-O, you can get yourself a 100% deposit bonus match of up to 100 bucks. So if you put in 50, they'll match with 50. But if you put in 100, they will match with $100. You cannot beat that deal. Make sure you are going to Prize Picks now and signing up. Use the free Prize Picks player prop tool at stochastic.com. It's going to help you out a ton. Another day, another unfun baseball slate where we test out stack, not stacking and it doesn't go the way that we want it to. But again, we should expect a lot of this. Last night in the Minimax, 23 of 150 lineups were able to cash. We didn't have anything good. Down quite a bit. As I look at the relay throw, 0 for 4 for uh, the boss man, Alex Baker, Adam, Shanzan, DeColtz. Not the best night, but everybody got uh, had some decent lineups showing up near the top at the very least. And we can talk about those guys in a little bit. First, I just wanted to touch on, you know, they, they had uh, quite a bit more success in terms of getting, line, uh, getting lineups over the cut line. I think a lot of that has to do with just simply how much Yankees did you have? Aaron Judge, highest scoring hitter on yesterday's slate. Uh, LeMayhew, Higashioka, Kiner Falefa, uh, Donaldson, Gallo all went for 20 or more. Uh, Stanton had 16. If you just had Yankees, you were in a great spot. I had a ton of Yankees. Well, not maybe not a ton. I had like a neutral amount of Yankees, and we could look at that quickly. The problem is, I don't have them in the same lineups, so it stops being all that interesting. If I just group this information in the minimax last night you can see i had 82 and a half percent of the yankees that's basically neutral to the field the problem is it's mostly single stacks or at best a two-man that's just not going to get it done when the large majority of lineups that cash let's just say this let's look profit greater than zero so we had 4097 lineups in the minimax yesterday cash just cash if we want to actually see how much representation we had from the yankees can we do that sure can so just simply at least a two-man yankee stack i think that we can do this if i select everything select nothing, go NYY, select all. This is two threes and fours, two, three, four, fives, actually. That's still half of the lineups getting a decent chunk of Yankees. If we just want to look at only five mans, which is going to be pretty difficult. Again, 4,100 lineups cashed in the Minimax yesterday. Of that, oh, this is going to be the way easier way to do this. Sixteen hundred and fifty were Yankees five mans or four man stacks. That is nuts, nuts. Even if you just want to say five mans, fourteen hundred were Yankee stacks. I mean, that's just so many Yankee stacks. We're talking what? Fourteen of forty is thirty five percent. Most of. The cashing lineups yesterday needed to be Yankee stacks. I guess I could have just looked at it over here too. 35% of the five-man stacks that were used of the lineups that cashed were Yankee stacks. Plus, plus 11% of three-mans and another 6% of four-mans. You had to have the Yankees yesterday. So we were never going to do good, do well. You know what I mean. Ultimately, stacking didn't work. The FC score and the ownership were all sort of in line to where I wanted to be in comparison to Adam. I know we've looked at that over the past two days. I'm fine with that. What I want to dig into quickly before we just take a brief look 
at the MLB contest for today. Because again, we're, we've been doing this no stacking thing for a couple weeks. Uh, I'm going to run through the rest of July with this mechanism, but I gotta say, it's not looking great so far. And here's what I've been looking at. So June 6th was the first date that we started this video series. I don't think I started stacking and, or not stacking for the first like two shows, but I'm just going to leave this like it is for right now. And remember, we have a really good showing. I think we had a sixth or whatever a couple days ago. Um, so that is in here. This is MLB because I don't think that we need to cloud it with, we're, this, is, this is more of an MLB exercise for right now. We will keep looking at PGA results and MMA results. But for right now, this these are the buckets of finishes for MLB contests since we've started. And while I'm happy with some of it, there are clear things that we need to point out. And I'm not sure what it means, but we I know we need more data. And I know that I'm not liking where we're at. So first things first, we're not putting in any of the truly awful lineups. We're way below uh, the mark on like the bottom 10%, uh, you know, 20%, 30%, whatever. We're, we're under the line in the worst line as possible. That's great. And we're, we start to peak in this 40 to 30% range, which is good, not great. This is sort of the, are you knocking on the door of cashing line? The thing that stands out most to me is that we are way underneath the mark for top 10% lineups. It gets worse when we look at top 5% lineups. Again, look at, we fall off a cliff for garbage lineups. That's good. But if we just look at the top 25, 30% of lineups, look at that gap in top 5%. I, I can't say for certain, like this could just be a small sample. Everything else looks good except for this. If we go to the 1% lineups, which obviously this is gonna get smaller, but we see where it falls off. We just fall off a cliff. It's 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, 5%, all below the line. I think this is really interesting to see. And uh, I, I tried to bat it around a little bit with Adam uh, before I did this recording. And again, small sample. This is a month. This is not that many slates. We're, we're going to need more data. In theory, I expected to be at the top a little bit less frequently than I would be if I were stacking because I'm just removing all of the correlation here. I don't have that extra bonus pushing me to the top. What my thought process would be is that when I do get into this top section, that I'm competing with less people because my lineup is, is as unique as it could possibly be in comparison. That was my thought. So my assumption was that I would get paid off more frequently with a five top 5% lineup or a top 1% lineup, but they might actually be lower than they normally are. I don't know if that's going to be the case. We can't know that until we get more information. That is my prevailing assumption right now. But for, for what I see, I'm not off to a good start with not stacking in baseball. And it seems so far, like we're not reading into anything. It seems like it's removing that final tier where you're not necessarily grabbing everything that you possibly could. Now, maybe this is lineup construction. This could be bigger issues than just simply a small sample. This could just be, I make bad lineups. That's also possible. Again, it, it's, it's been a small sample. We're gonna run this through the end of July, come back, reevaluate. But for right now, I'm expecting to transition back to stacking once we get into August, because this is not, in my opinion, great. I would expect whatever process I'm using that my top 5% lineups, no matter what, no matter what system I'm using, I, need, I want this line to be higher than the average. We're getting 3.3% of lineups made in the top 5%. That's to me pathetic um, for this, for what we're doing. Very interesting, but not at all what I want. I want that number to be like 6%, 7% before I start to feel better. Like I, what I want this line, what I want this 5% line to look like is the probably the 30%, 35% line here or the 25% line. I want to be at 6% or higher and we are not even remotely close. So keep your eyes peeled for that. We're going to we're going to pay attention to it for the rest of the month. Now, for today's contest, it's kind of tough to talk about. It, this slate is awful for baseball. All of the prize pools are down. 
the knuckleball is at 20k the four seamer is at 35k uh you know the it makes the mini max a little bit better at least the the, the 50 cent mini max is up to to 10k as a prize pool the relay throws at 222 it's a 10 game slate wake up it's a perfectly reasonable slate to make bigger and this is just in my opinion a, a poor slate on DraftKings for today seems to me there's no reason that the four seamer should be 35,000 uh that's you know like if we look at the lobby right now four seamer for the main slate today it we only need like 6,000 more entries this is gonna fill easily why not make it bigger why is this not a $50,000 contest today I really don't know. So you guys can see we have it marked for today. As per usual, if you're playing anything, I highly recommend the knuckleball, even though it's going to be uh, very competitive. It's the best payout structure relationship to your top 1% entries. Uh, today's a great day to get in the $1 mini max. I don't want to do $150 in entries on this show on a daily sport. But if you're if you have the ability to max the mini max, I love the payout structure today. It's probably the second best contest that you can get into if you have the ability. And lower the buy-in, softer the competition. Attack the Minimax today. I will be attacking the 50 cent Minimax. Not the best payout structure in the world, but we still need these 150 lineups. We need as much data as we can get. We're also going to get into the bass hit and the chin music, same as yesterday, because I actually had a decent showing. Well, maybe not decent. Uh, the bass hit cashed yesterday which um is better than i can hope for for most of what happened in the minimax base hit lineup got to 304 uh that's a 13 dollars profit at 125 dollars um not the best lineup in the world it was a two two or it was a two-man stack we got nola in it and christian javier but we had higashioka and cody bellinger basically carry the rest of the team like that lineup's loaded to a degree you get an acuna zero that stinks you know, you'll always take whatever catcher. That's fine. And getting Higgishioka was cool. Jordan Alvarez had seven. That's whatever. Fran Wander Franco had seven. That's whatever. It's not great. But it was a profitable lineup nonetheless, and that helped out yesterday. So let's get into the base hit. Let's get into the chin music. And then let's get into the mini max. And then let's get out of here. We'll, uh, we'll evaluate MMA contests tomorrow. Um, it's not a big card, so... I'm not too worried about it. I don't think anything's going to be all that filled up. So we're going to get into the base hit. That'll be our first contest. Guys, when I ran that data for um, top 5% type lineups, I was not happy with what I saw. Man, that was, that was stark. So I thought it was important for us to talk about it. All right, we're into the base hit. We're into the chin music. And then we're into the mini max. $80 in entries. Boom! We are registered for today. Follow along if you want to. Hit the like button because it would be incredibly helpful. One more process this week. By the way, one announcement. Uh, keep your eyes peeled to the Odds Shopper channel or to my Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Baseball bets are coming. Um, and I'm going to be putting this video out the night before and basically at the moment lines drop at a certain sports book. And we will talk about that sports book in the videos. Like, I don't want to mention it yet. The moment I see that those lines are posted, I am loading up my MLB model. We're loading in all of the lines and we are trying to attack the opener as fast as we possibly can. This is coming. We're going to do five days a week on this one. It's going to be the quickest look I think that we can get to of sports bets where if you can beat this opening line, and we see a lot of line movement moving forward, it's going to be the spot you want to get into. We've got great deals for that sports book. Odd Shopper will help you out throughout the day. But keep your eyes peeled to the Odd Shopper channel because five days a week, you're getting MLB bets out of me. Thanks for being here, everybody. This was The Process.